Drive east on the Gardner and you'll find the curb lane closed. Here, the sidewall is so fragile it can no longer support the street lights that are supposed to rest on it. This section of the wall uh, is in definitely in need of repair. Underneath, there are wooden planks and bracing. Elsewhere, patch cement. But none of this is the long-term fix the gardener so desperately needs. I think it's a matter of having enough resources, financial resources, to actually fix that problem. The question of what to do next now looms overhead. It took a Global News investigation for councillors to be made fully aware of the problems with the road deck, information city staff kept quiet for more than a year. Fix it up, tear it down, there needs to be an answer fast. We've got six years and then uh, you know the clock is ticking and then the alarm bell goes off and we're in serious trouble. There's a study of the gardener underway from end to end looking at how to roll out repairs. For the road to remain usable, the deck needs to be removed and replaced. Timeline, 10 years, cost $600 million. We're completely taking out the deck and we're replacing it. Um, and so you'll, we'll pretty much have a brand new uh, Gardner Expressway. Those long-term repairs will bring a level of traffic disruption never before seen on the Gardner Expressway. Lanes will be closed for weeks, if not months at a time, to allow them to be completely rebuilt. Maybe there's another answer. In 2008, then-Mayor David Miller proposed tearing down the eastern leg of the Gardner, replacing it with a grand boulevard on the ground. We have to make the decision now. The city started studying the idea, but quietly shelved the plans. Toronto's new chief planner among those calling for the study to be finished before any decision about repairs is made. It's a complex question uh, because of the transportation volumes, but also because of the money involved. And I think that due diligence needs to continue. That's now a debate for Toronto City Council. The worry is the gardener is in such rough shape, there's no time for more studies, it just needs to be fixed. You either tear it down or you fix it, or you play what I call the risk management game, because it's only a matter of time before a larger chunk comes off and before something catastrophic happens. With the gardener nearing the end of the road, it will be ripped apart one way or another. The lingering question, will it be rebuilt? With some of the preliminary repair work already underway here on the eastern stretch near Jarvis, there's a whole new dimension in the debate tonight. City Councillor Adam Vaughn is asking City Council to study the idea of selling off the Gardner and the Don Valley Parkway to perhaps a private corporation. Let them charge tolls to fund the maintenance and take it out of the city's hands because it is becoming such a massive problem looming overhead. Leslie?